Welcome back to the Working Class Musician YouTube channel. I am Jimmy Franklin. I'm gonna change up the thing that I do now. This is the channel where I waste my money so you don't have to. So to get to the channel before you overspend, hit subscribe below and turn on the bell notification. You'll never miss a video. Everyone knows that I am not the biggest fan of acoustic guitars, but what I have here today is something super interesting and super special and I can't wait for you guys to check it out. Now, full disclosure, this guitar was sent to me. I am not being paid to say any of this. That being said, let's switch over to the guitar cam, 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 cam. Ah, yeah, check it out. Okay, still got my tuner there, hold on. There's my, there's my poly tune. The link will be available below. It's Christmas time, stocking stuffer for a musician. This right here is the Sigma SIG 10D. It's a whole lot of acoustic guitar at a very, very affordable price point, which I will disclose later in this video. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's exactly what you want in an acoustic guitar. It's perfect, right? Here's the logo right here, Sigma. The company is called Sigma, and I had no idea about them. A little bit of background on what Sigma guitars is. Sigma was originally a part of the Martin brand and Martin owned Sigma kind of as their lower or uh, more inexpensive quality instruments. Kind of like Epiphone to Gibson or Squire to Fender, like Sigma was that to Martin and at some point I guess Martin dropped Sigma as its own brand and Sigma went on to continue making wonderful acoustic guitars in Indonesia, and everyone knows how much I love my Indonesian made guitars. If that is, you know, that I hope that's a testament to the quality because I think most of the best quality budget guitars are made in Indonesia. Any of the Ibanez stuff that's made in Indonesia, Stramberg, um, even uh, PRS makes stuff in Indonesia and they're always wonderful. So it just shows up in the box like this and I open it up and, and I just see an acoustic guitar. It was no frills, it wasn't like, oh my God, look at that. And I don't get that way with acoustic guitars. They don't like always wow me. And so I was kind of just like, oh, whatever. And I pick it up and I go to play it and I was instantly shocked. It just blew my mind, absolutely blew my mind because I knew the price point when I had got the guitar. Not just the quality, the feel, but the sound is unreal. So I have my condenser mic here and a little bit of reverb to really make it sound kind of pretty. Hopefully you're hearing this as good as I'm hearing it. hoping that that came across as good as it does in here. This is a great sounding, full bodied, spruce, you know, blonde looking acoustic guitar. It's, it's no frills, but at the same time, it's like, it's like, I don't look at it and say, oh, it's no frills. I look at it and say, yo, it's no frills. That's the best part. It's like, this is a guitar that you just, you, you hang out around the campfire with your kids who are home from college and, and just play and have a good time. This is a guitar that you, you break out with friends, or even if you're like a studio guy and you're just sitting in your studio all day making music, you throw your favorite set of strings on this and you can play it for any acoustic track you need. It really can do it. The neck is something that just blew me away immediately because it has the same feel of those unfinished Martin necks that I like. If I, you know, play them like just, Okay, I know before I said I don't like acoustic guitars, but the point is, 
The Martins that I do like typically have unfinished necks. And I don't know enough about them to know if they all have unfinished necks or not, if that's like their thing. But the ones that I've played had unfinished necks and I thought they were brilliant. And this has that same thing. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Finger. This is a wonderful quality instrument. It sounds huge. It, I, I'm just blown away. Something else that I think is super important to talk about is the fact that we have a strap button at the neck. Not enough acoustic guitar companies are doing this nowadays, and that is, that is just wrong in my opinion. At the time of making this video, it is 2021, and there are two things that are true to me, and that is that there, that bacon should just come standard on a cheeseburger and that acoustic guitars should have a strap button. People who are sitting at their house playing guitar on their own, yeah, you may not need it, but one day you're gonna wanna try standing up. And I'm sick of taking shoelaces off to tie them to guitar straps to just get that awkward feeling, you know, Johnny Cash-esque acoustic thing. Johnny Cash did it, Elvis did it, it's fine, it worked for them, but we're past that. And it's it's just awkward. I just don't like that feeling of having the, the strap tied to the neck up here. I'm gonna stay in drop D for a second. Let's see how this goes. Ew, two drop D tunes in a row, Jimmy? Gross, what are you trying to do? Rile up the trailer park? That is just a nice sounding acoustic guitar. You get a whole lot of guitar for the money here and they're totally worth buying for, even like even if you're a beginner, Christmas is rolling up right now and, and this is a great guitar to purchase for a first acoustic guitar, something like that. These guitars come in at $185 on Amazon. And I hope that when you get one of these, it's the same quality as, as the one that I have here. It's, it stays in tune perfectly. It stays set up. All the woods are quality. I had no idea what to expect and I was so pleasantly surprised. Now, this is by far the most worth it acoustic only guitar for the money. A 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10 acoustic guitar. The only thing that makes it not perfect for me on my perfect acoustic guitar hunt, which knocks it down a point or two, is that it does not have electronics because I need electronics for what I do. However, playing in the studio, playing at home, practicing, having fun and just breaking out the acoustic guitar. This easily goes up there with some of the, the Yamahas and D'Angelicos. That being said, I will leave a link below to this guitar from Amazon. And then I'll also leave a link below to our friends at Sweetwater who have been huge supporters of the channel. And I'm going to leave a link, not to this guitar, but to guitars that I feel this guitar compares to. But for $185, it's almost a no-brainer to give one a shot. 
And that is all I have to say about this. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.